Hello, my name is Dominique Lauzon and I'm a senior application engineer at MSC Software. Today we will take a look at some powerful features in MD Nastran for contact technology that can be leveraged in Patran 2010, which helps to speed up the creation of your assemblies or integrate local analysis as part of the larger model assembly. One of the challenges faced by engineers during the creation of large-scale assemblies or when performing global local analysis is that a large amount of time is spent on adjoining congruent meshes and splitting elements to align and match nodes. This is a very time-consuming process and can become cumbersome for large assemblies. Your mesh data can come from various sources, which makes the job of assembling all the more tedious. For global local analysis, additional effort is required to create independent local refined meshes and transfer the loads between models, or an approach of subsystem component reduction is taken. All of this adds additional effort for remeshing and renumbering. MD Nastran addresses these two industry problems with the use of glued contact that eliminates the need to align incongruent nodes. MD Nastran is perfect to work with large assemblies and is a trusted solution for almost all aerospace, defense, automotive, and machinery companies worldwide. The definition of the contact body and the contact table is fast and simple and enables integrated global local analysis in the same model while maintaining accuracy with stiffness at the boundaries, structural, and evil thermal loads transfer. Here's an example of how MD Nastran is used by our customers for a quick assembly model. We will be using Patran 2010 to demonstrate on this airframe panel, which also have some ribs to it. The 2D shell curve panel is meshed with coarse elements, but the blue 2D ribs, mounting strips, and the window have finer mesh. Working with the similar meshes allows me to integrate a local finer mesh window model within the primary master assembly. This helps me avoid a standalone model and assures proper transfer of loads and retaining boundary conditions around the model. There are two kinds of contacts edge-to-edge -edge for 2D elements as well as face-to-face -face contact, which is general and can be applied for 3D models as well. For boundary conditions to the top and bottom edge of the airframe panels are pinned and internal pressure is applied to the panel as well as the window. To define the contact solution, the first step is to define the deformable contact bodies. We first define the ribs as one of the deformable contact body. We go to the boundary conditions, create contact and pick deformable body. We call it 2D ribs. We then select the elements. Once the apply button is clicked, we see the visual confirmation that indicates the selected elements have been considered as contact bodies. We next display only the refined panels and the window and define them as one single deformable body. Even though they are not joined components, detection will be done at the free edge boundaries of the contact body. Once the third contact body is defined, we can move on the job setup definition to be solved by MD Nastran. At this point, we must define the contact relationships amongst the deformable bodies in the contact table. Here is where we define that we want to glue the deformable bodies or contact pairs together. We also set tolerance. For example, for the face-to-face -face contact, we define a curvature threshold where we make sure that we still have contact detection even though the faces have different curvature. Notice that many options are available to control pairs independently and in different ways to satisfy the most complex assemblies. Once we solve and post-process, the results show that we have a closed and seamless model. Continuity is respected throughout the entire model, both scenes and the fringe and deformed plots, and regular free-body plots can be obtained even at the glued boundary to study loads transfer. As a result, in only a few minutes we were able to accurately model an airframe panel with its ribs and not to worry about dissimilar meshes and incongruence at the boundaries. In this example, we have used simplified airframe panel, but note that this can also be applied to various types of assemblies, including 3D elements, as well as different industries such as ship halls, electronics, transportation, autos and trains, and much, much more. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have enjoyed learning about the latest capabilities of Patron and MD Nastran.